Hello, hello. This is take two for this Facebook Live. This is day eight of a 14 day Facebook Live challenge and I tried to do this video earlier today and Facebook was having some issues, but as you'll see, it was really important to me to be able to save the video and I couldn't earlier, so here I am, take two. Hi Kat, hi Jody. thanks for hopping on. If you watch by replay, you guys, and if you're watching live, tell me where you're tuning in from. Where are you watching me from today? And thank you so much for your time in advance. I promise this is gonna be valuable to you if you are someone who does Facebook Lives. And if you know someone, you have a friend who does Facebook Lives and you just wanna hang out and watch my goofy self, then tag them in this video because this is gonna be for kind of little known, at least for the majority of people who are doing lives on their personal page, little known things that you can do to repurpose your Facebook Live content and really um, build your reach more quickly. So I'm all about saving time. I'm a busy mom and wife, and I'm all about saving time in building my business and not having to redo the do constantly over and over again. So I'm gonna share with you some really good tips. First, let me introduce myself though. I'm Ashley Samadani, and like I said, I'm a wife, I'm a mom to a three-year-old, and I have a couple of different online businesses. I have a blog, it's Taylor Made Mama, and then I also have a network marketing business. And so I definitely do a lot of Facebook Lives and I have a variety of content. So I'm gonna tell you what I do to repurpose some of that content and then share one new thing that I learned that I haven't tried yet and I'm so excited about it. So I'm gonna tell you about it first and maybe some of you have done it and you can share with me um, how you've been successful with it. Hi, Lindsay, I see a few friends are hopping on, thanks so much. Okay, so let me look at my notes real quick. Okay, so why is this important? So first of all, do you do Facebook Lives? Are you someone who does Facebook Lives either in a group, on your business page, or on your personal page? If you are, let me know where you do the majority of your lives. Groups, personal page, page or business page. Me personally, I do kind of a variety, mostly on my personal page and then a lot in various groups. So definitely in my team page, um, some in Taylor Made Best Life, some in Modern Mompreneur Lounge, I'm kind of all over the place live. So lives and repurposing them are key for me. So let me know. Kat says, yes, personal page. Jody says, personal page. Okay, awesome. So again, you guys, if you're watching and you know someone who does lives and you don't, tag them. I promise this is gonna be valuable for them. This is worth its weight in gold, I promise you. And we could literally do probably many lives on each of these four things. For, for days, there's info for days. So I'm gonna give you a brief overview and then um, maybe we'll do some more in depth later on. So anyway, if you're doing Facebook Lives, you might as well make the most of them. You don't wanna to have to keep recreating the same content. And what happens with Facebook Lives, if you have a killer Facebook Live, you're getting your message out there, you're building your brand, you're like, this was so good, I want the world to hear this. Well, you'll get the viewers that you get from that original live. And yes, some people will watch the replay, Hi, replay viewers. And then some people will watch the replay when it bumps up every now and again, but eventually that live is going to get pretty much buried. It's gonna go down, 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 down. And then what happens in five years? Probably not many people are gonna see that live. Well, there's a few ways that you can repurpose them. Hi, Sarah, thanks for hopping on. So number one, upload your Facebook live videos to your YouTube channel. So you don't have to be fancy schmancy with this, go look at my YouTube channel. If you search Ashley Samadani, you'll see it's literally, it looks good because I create little um, thumbnail covers for the videos um, that are kind of, you know, branded a little bit. They're nothing super fancy. They're just super simple made in Canva, but you can upload your videos onto YouTube, okay? And you can um, have them there as an archive. That's just building your brand and building your business and, and creating more reach and generating hopefully more leads for your business, whatever that business may be, through building on YouTube, but you're using the same content, okay? Um, so I, I encourage you, go look at my YouTube. You'll see it's nothing, I'm not doing any kind of like cinematic masterpieces, it's just my lives repurposed there, um, and, and they're there. And so they're on a different platform, they're saved. Um, I can use those links if I have, well, I'll get to that in a minute, okay? So number one, upload your Facebook Live videos to YouTube. So if that's something that you're like, ooh, I could totally do that, I want you to put a one in the comments or YouTube in the comments. So YouTube in the comments, if that's something where you're thinking, oh yeah, okay, I can definitely do that. 
YouTube accounts are free, easy to do. It's just another way to start to build your business and build your brand alongside what you're already doing, okay? So you're, you're, you're not redoing anything aside from what you're already doing. Okay, so anyway, number two. Oh, and I just did this actually today post my first live, my first live of this that got deleted. Um, number two, embed your live videos into a blog post. So if you have a blog, a great way to repurpose live videos is to embed them into a blog post. Um, content on blog, if you have videos on your blogs, that's really appealing because you have some some of your uh, some of your readers are going to be you know they're going to want to just straight up read. Some people are more visual, and you can definitely communicate in a more personable way through live video. So, for example, if you would like to see um, the one that I did today, if you look in my stories here on Facebook, um, you can see that I had a post up about my daughter's um, kind of journey into physical therapy for her toe walking, and as part of that blog article, I embedded the live video that I did yesterday on her toe walking, what I shared with you all, kind of my takeaways from watching her persevere in her appointment. So it's pretty cool. I could just take that, embed it into my blog post. There's a three little dots you can click on your live video where you can download or it says embed and you can grab the code. So if you're a blogger and you do live videos, please repurpose those and include them in your content. Okay, that's one reason. And I said in a couple, a couple videos ago, I always have notes, okay? So I, I always make notes no matter what live I'm going to do because I never know, or I do know, I'm gonna repurpose that for something. It might be on my YouTube, it might be in a blog post, it might be in this next one, I'm, or the fourth one I'm gonna tell you about, but I already have my content, right? I already had my blog post for today, and I had a video, so all I had to do was just expand upon the notes that I had already created for my live and pulled from part of a Facebook post, built out a, a longer blog post, beefed it up, published, pinned it to Pinterest. So you can definitely, I mean, the more that's really to me, that's the key to being able to kind of do lots of things on lots of different platforms is using these anchor pieces of content and then dispersing them to your very, to your kind of various platforms and audiences and readers and followers and all those things. And you can do this regardless, especially number four. Wait till we get to number four. If you are doing Facebook lives and you're a realtor or you are doing Facebook lives and you're an influencer or a blogger, whatever, whatever you're marketing, if you're doing, I mean, you can market any business online using Facebook lives, but please repurpose them in one of these ways because you will literally be able to multiply your business by multiple times doing this. So um, okay, so number one, upload your video to YouTube. Number two, embed your video into a blog post. If you have a blog and that's something where you're like, hmm, I could do that, put embed in the comments, embed in the comments. Um, oh, why do I have, oh, okay, for some reason it expanded to five in my notes. I'm like, wait a minute, I only had four. I don't know what the fifth is gonna be. Okay, so number three is one that I haven't done yet, but I'm really excited because I saw someone share about this in a group the other day. Apparently, you can actually, there's some trick to it, but you can upload your, um, your Facebook Live videos to IGTV. You can upload these Facebook Live videos to IGTV. So if you have both Facebook and Instagram, you can repurpose the same live for both. The key to that, and I missed a point I'm gonna go back to, but the key to that, you really, unless you wanna crop it, you wanna have your phone oriented the other way. You want it vertically. If you're planning on repurposing it, you want it vertically or have an app where you can crop because IGTV has a certain kind of size specification. I do it this way for the purposes of YouTube because YouTube, it looks a lot better to have the horizontal orientation. And then for number four, it looks a lot better too. So let me get to number four. But for number three, if you're pumped about the fact that you can transfer your Facebook lives that you put your time and thought into to IGTV too, I want you to put IGTV in the comments. So that's a really exciting one. I'm excited to do that. I don't do a lot of IGTV or lives on IG um, because I haven't kind of committed myself to doing like the dual broadcast, but this gives us that option to, if not be live on both, at least to have live video that can be repurposed to IGTV. So I'm really excited about that. Um, number four is my favorite. Oh my goodness, my favorite for so many reasons. 
And I feel like I'm kind of giving away, I'm giving away like a big, um, like a secret or something, but you guys deserve value. You're spending your time watching this live. So I want to give you a, a valuable nugget of something that I love, love, love to do to repurpose lives just like this one. And that is to use them in email newsletters to people that are on your email list. So if you are building a business online, whether that's network marketing, whether that's blogging, I don't care what, what business you are marketing, having an email list is so key and nurturing that email list, communicating with them, giving them valuable content, just as you would to your, your Facebook audience or your IG audience or your Pinterest audience, whatever, wherever platforms you're on, you want to be providing a ton of value, right? So one thing that you can do with these videos is to send them in email newsletters to, I don't know if I'm going to give you my whole secret on this, but I'll, okay, we're going to do the light version here. So send these, not just the video by themselves, but remember those notes. So remember those like notes outlines that you might have already typed up there's your, there's your email newsletter. So you know what I'm going to do as soon as I get off of this Facebook live is what I always do. I'm going to take this live and I'm going to take the notes and maybe fancy them up just a little bit, make sure my grammar is correct. I'm going to send out an email to let people on my email list that are interested in this type of content. So people who have gotten onto an email list of mine for things having to do with network marketing or online business building or blogging, things like that, I'm gonna send this out to them. So if you haven't started building an email list, that's a whole nother topic. But if you have one, that's a great way for you to repurpose your Facebook lives is just to send them a blast and say, hey, this is what I talked about. Here's a quick summary of what I talked about. I would love for you to come hang out and say, hey, um, here's the Facebook live video, watch now. So to that effect, it's kind of hard for me to like explain what that looks like. So if you would like to see kind of the finished product of what I do for that number four for the newsletter with Facebook Lives, I promise it's super simple. It really is super simple. But if you wanna see what it looks like when it's all put together, just reach out, send me a message and send me your email address, okay? So send me your email address, I will put you, yes, I'm going to put you into that particular um, email list so that you can get that sent to you when it goes out tomorrow. So if you wanna see that, just message me with your email list and then you're going to get, you're not going to watch this video again, but you're going to get the notes from it. You're going to see what the template looks like, how I set it up. And then you can do that on your own with whatever email service provider that you have. Is that cool or what? So anyways, there's lots more nuggets, like point sub points underneath all of those. And I could go on for days and days because I'm super passionate about all of this stuff, super passionate about building online businesses in efficient ways. And those four are definitely ways to be more efficient and um, using the time that you put in across a variety of platforms. So I hope that makes um, sense to those of you watching. If you have questions, you can always leave them in the comments. You can always reach out and message me. But anyways, I'm going to go get ready. We're going to do a little like um, pre, what is this? Um, Fourth of July Eve. So Fourth of July Eve festivities over at our church. So we're doing like food trucks and things like that. So it should be a good time. But Anyway, yeah, my email email subscribers are going to, to love that last little tidbit. Very useful information. But anyways, you guys, thanks as always for your time. I hope you have a wonderful fourth. Stay safe and God bless America.